Hello Wolverines, welcome to this edition of Dolly Villan. I'm Lucas Consuegra. And I'm Ricardo Blanco. As we mark Earth Day 2021, be part of an awesome project by the Belen Annual Animal Rescue and Conservation Club. The Bark Club is collecting old electronics, recycling in an effort to protect habitats for gorillas in Africa. Gorillas on the line is to lower the demand of Colton in the technology industry where this Colton is mined in places like the Congo and, the, and Rwanda in Africa and the mining of these minerals is very unethical and usually leads to a lot of death of both people and animals alike. One of the main uh, victims of Colton mining is our gorillas and through this drive not only are we able to reduce the demand and stop the violence that's going on in the Congo but we're also able to recycle materials and teach our community here in Miami how to recycle properly. To support the project you can drop off your unwanted electronics at age 207. Belen won big on Wednesday, but this time at the courthouse, hoping to start construction as soon as possible. Our field reporter Isaiah Fuller has a story. Commissioner Hardiman? Four. Commissioner Heyman? Yes. Commissioner Higgins? Yes. Commissioner McGee? Yes. Commissioner Regalado? Go no. Wolverines, yes. <laughs> Commissioner Soto? Commissioner Cohen Higgins? Four. Vice Chairman Gilbert? Yes. Chairman Diaz? Yes. Item pass. passes? Item passes nine to zero. Uh, Father Willie, can you please give us a rundown of what happened in the chamber? So uh, we had to meet with the county commissioners for the approval of various things that we actually proposed, the, the new athletic facility that we want to build, uh, resolving the parking situation for the school with the new parking lot and also a parking garage. Uh, we want to keep having to put the nets down on the baseball field. There's various things that we wanted to prove, and that was presented to the county commissioners today. Thanks to the support of uh, not only the Belen community and our students especially, Ben Fernandez, our lawyer, who's a graduate from the class of 81, Jose Gonzalez, who came to also to support us with, from the class of 91, and Carlos Wembes, who's our architect. Everything was unanimously approved. The county commissioners, as a matter of fact, somebody screamed out, go Wolverines, they were so excited for us so everything went it couldn't have gone any smoother uh, it was fantastic there was only one person who came to oppose she's come on every single occasion so we expected it so we're very happy with the outcome and with that said uh, we'll go to principal roca mr roca how do you feel this would impact the future of Berlin? well i'm very excited uh, it's going to impact it in a very positive way as everybody knows, our student athletes work very hard both in the classroom and out on the field and in the pool and in the gym. And this athletic uh, facility will allow us to do all of that on campus. And we'll have a world-class uh, weight room in there that uh, our boys will all benefit from. So we're very excited. It's WLN News. Isaiah Fuller, thank you. Thank you, Isaiah. The John Zupana Aquatic Center recently hosted the state championship for water polo. Robbie Espin has more. This past weekend, Blend hosted the very first state championship event on campus. In partnership with the FHSAA, Blen was able to host the state semifinals and championship games for water polo. It was a great opportunity for Blen to really showcase uh, our campus, our facility, our hospitality. This is the first time that Blen has ever hosted a state championship event, so it was a historic event for us as well. Um, and I'm just excited that we can, you know, do something that gives back to the community and, and to, to athletics in general. The event was a great opportunity to use the school's new state-of-the-art John Zupano Aquatic Center. The games took place on Friday and Saturday, with Gulliver Prep winning the Boys State title on Saturday afternoon. So it's a two-day event. We had the semifinals on Friday. We had four boys teams and four girls teams from across the state come down. Uh, and then we had the championship finals for girls and the championship final for boys on Saturday. Uh, it was uh, very successful. It was an event where uh, the top four teams in, in the state for each gender were able to come down and, and show their, their talents and their hard work in, in a setting that was really highlighted by a championship feel, uh, an atmosphere that was very conducive to, to creating memories for hopefully these student athletes and their parents and their coaches that they'll never forget. The event was a splashing success and hopefully the first of many state championship events to take place on Belen's campus. For WBLN, I'm Robbie Espin. President Joe Biden is expected to commit the U.S. to a lofty environmental goal Thursday. 
He will announce at a climate summit a goal of reducing emissions 50 to 52 percent from 2005 levels by 2030. That's a more aggressive goal than the one set by President Barack Obama to cut emissions by up to 28 percent by 2025 when he first joined the Paris Climate Agreement. Officials say Biden reached the number Wednesday after long consultations with experts. It's not clear exactly how Biden plans to reach the goal. Those specifics are expected to come later in this year. What's up, Wolverines? I'm Robbie Espin. Here's sports for today. Varsity Baseball takes on Calvary Christian at home tonight at 7. The team beat Coral Springs Charter 5 to nothing on Tuesday night. Esteban Rodriguez will get the start on the mound. Varsity Lax takes on the Gulliver Raiders tomorrow at 4 in regional semifinals. The Kings of Dade County are currently undefeated and are coming off a, dist a dominant district championship win over Miami Country Day. Varsity Crew is taking part in the FSRA Sweep Championship in Sarasota this weekend. Now on to the pros. The Heat beat the Spurs by 20 points on Wednesday night. Bam Adebayo led the way with 23 points and 8 rebounds. The Heat take on Trey Young and the Hawks tomorrow night in Atlanta. The Marlins beat the Orioles 3-0 yesterday. The Fish are set to begin a four-game series on the road against the Giants. In the NHL, the Red Hot Panthers face the Stars in Dallas tomorrow. The Cats are looking to finish the season strong with nine games left. That's it for sports. Now back to Lucas at the desk. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of WBLN. I'm Lucas Consuegra. And I'm Ricardo Blanco. Stay safe, Wolverines.